hi <coughs> viewers as you well aware that i am dr jetting elosa running a a channel titled the lost speeches in the youtube platform in which i am posting my lectures on different facets of law and also issues burning in the world so today we discuss the election commission of india its powers and also functions as you well aware that india is a the biggest democratic country in the world and we are regularly from 1950s onwards conducting the festival of democracy in form of elections and on 15th of this month the election commission of, of india has announced the schedule for the 18th lok sabha a lower house and general election and process has been started and the election will be there for from the in seven phases and it will be starting from the april 9th 19th it goes up to in month of june and on 4th of june the election results will come so there is a festival of democracy because in democratic polity elections are indispensable without that there is a no democracy india is boasting around 960 million voters equivalent to that of the 96 crores of voters are they they are going to exercise their franchise in lok sabha elections the popul the voters strength is equal to that of the more than that of the population of the europe and the united states club together from time and again if we observe from 1950s we had successfully conducting the elections because the credit goes to election commission of india the election commission of india is a a constitutional body which where the constitution of india from the article 324 to 330 provides matters pertaining to elections for that we have a body should be there that is the be called as a election commission of india so as per the article 324 of the constitution of india and part 15th which the article is provided the election commission has the power to superintend dens provide direction and control the preparation of the electoral rolls and conduct of the elections to the the both houses of the parliament lok sabha and the rajya sabha and to state level a provincial level the state <coughs> legislatures which includes the state assemblies and the state legislative councils if we see the article 324 class number 1 there is uh, the composition of election commission is uh, mentioned there 
which provides there should be a chief election commissioner in addition to chief election commissioner he should be have the election commission may have the election commissioners in at the central level in the state level for conducting the elections to the state assemblies and councils we have the regional commissioners election commissioners and the election commissioners the condition of service and tenure is to be determined by the president of india on par by making a law as per that we only recently the law is enacted in our country the election when the elections was is to be started election commission becomes a supreme and independent body where all the government machinery has to work as per the advice and rules and regulations being framed by the election commission that is a, a constitutional right which has been conferred to the election commission of india then time and again, again we have seen different kind of elections but uh, till date the election commission of india is successfully organizing or conducting the elections in our, our country is concerned whether it may be the at the central level or it may be at the state level then now we discuss the functions of the election commission just i told you the main function of the election commission is to super intent direct and control and prepare electoral rolls and to conduct the elections in a free and fair manner that is a primary function which has been castigated upon the election commission of india in addition to this the election commission has some more functions like the election commission regulates the elections in in a work country and the election commission also advises the president of india and governors of the respective states with regard to disqualification of member from the parliament or the state legislatures are concerned so when disqualification comes the the election commission has to be consulted consulted that is a, another power is vested in the hands of the election commission of india then election commission has also has the power if there is a a governor's rule or president's rule is imposed under the article 356 class 1 of the constitution of india then the rule is the rule is they wanted to prolong beyond the one year period in during that scenario the election commission has to be consulted by the union government up so that is a, another important power which is provided to the election commission of india then all the resolutory powers which is not covered under article 324 for controlling or regulating the superintending the election are uh, which are not provided under the representation of people's act of 1950 and 51 is being conferred to the election commission of india then article 325 provides election commission has the power to prepare the electoral rolls to the the at the central level to the parliament 
and also at the state level it, to the state legislatures. The power is only vested in the hands of the Election Commission of India. Then the Article 326 provides adult franchise. When we had the commencement of the constitution was made in 1950s, the voting right is for after crossing the 21 years, the voting right is to be given. But the 61st amendment of the constitution of India, which was made in 1986, the age has been decreased to the 18 years. So, if a person, a citizen crosses the age of 18 years, he should be given a right, vote to right. So that is be called as a adult sufferers or adult franchise. And uh, with the exemptions that uh, if he is a non-resident, if he is an unsoundness of mind and if he is a, is a indulgent crime, criminal, convicted in criminal, uh, corrupt practices, then illegal practices, only, then only those persons will be debarred to exercise their franchise. Otherwise, they are right to be participate in the, uh, in the election process. Then Article 327 provides and gives the power to parliament, to state legislatures to make a, a, a law to conduct of the elections by availing this Article 327 we had enacted the Parliament of 1950s had enacted the Representation of People's Act of 1950 and 51 very soon after the commencement of the, the Constitution of India is, is there. Then the Election Commission also has the power to allocate symbols or register the political parties or de-recognize the political parties. For that we have one order is being made by the Election Commission of India that it is called as a Elections Symbols, Reservations and Allotment Order of 1968 as amended in 2014. As per this order, Election Commission has the power to you allot the symbols, uh, recognize the political parties, also de-recognize the political parties. So, this is uh, with regard to Article 327 of the Constitution of India and in a case called Saadi Kali versus Election Commission it is reported 1972 volume 4 SCC page number 664 in which the Supreme Court has held that the Election Commission has the power absolute power to allot meant of symbol to the parties you know it during that time two bullocks and a, a yoke was symbol is granted to a faction of the indian national congress party and that was challenged by the the petitioner sadikali in this case but uh, ultimately the supreme court had provided has held that no election commission has a full power, absolute power to give any sort of symbol uh, to the political parties. Then we have to discuss the article 329 of the constitution of India where it is uh, provided that no court has to interfere into the process of the election matters. If the elections have been started the courts are barred to give any kind of relief to the contestants or political parties. So it is a we are debarred to go to the courts. So that has been again 
dwelt in a case called N.P. Ponnu Swami versus Returning Officer Namakkal. It is cases reported in 1952, Volume 1, SCC, page number 94, where the petitioners wanted to contest the Legislative Assembly election and his nomination was rejected by the Supreme Court of India, by the Election Commission of India. Then he challenged this, this rejection of his nomination in the High Court by availing the Article 226 of the Constitution of India and there he could not get any relief. Then he approached the Supreme Court for action of the returning officer in his uh, officer of his returning of uh, rejecting his uh, nomination papers the supreme court again categorically stated that once election process is started the parties or persons or nobody is allowed to knock the doors are top the stop the election process and it has rejected the petitioner's contention and it has categorically stated that the election rejecting of the nomination also a election process so whatever action did by the returning officer Namakkal, the, the respondent was uh, upheld by the Supreme Court of India. Then, so election commission is a body a, recognized by the Constitution of India. It is a, a constitutional body, but uh, whether the question came before to the Supreme Court, whether the chief election commissioner is the supreme or commissioners are all equal. So the, the case was discussed in a, by Supreme Court in a case called the, the famous case That is a <coughs> TN Station versus Union of India, 1995, Volume 4, SC, page number 611. So, in this case, Supreme Court has stated that uh, Election Commission, <coughs> though consisting of the Chief Election Commissioner and Election Commissioners, there is a not a much difference with regard to powers are concerned. And earlier, in a, another case, that is a SS Dhan, Dhanav versus Union of India, 1991, Volume 3, SCC, page number 567. In this case, the Election, the Supreme Court had occasion to discuss whether the President of India can revoke the appointment of election commissioners. Court held that it is a mandatory, mandatory not on part of the election commissioners to question the act of the President of India. So they can be the President of India appoints them and he has the power to remove them. That was the opinion uh, of uh, 1991, uh, but uh, in 95, in the session case, the diametric uh, decision was made. So here, it was decided, it discussed in this case that uh, election commissioners are equal and the they are governed by the the chief election commissioner 
and other election commissioners conditions of services act of 1991 as amended in 1994 and if there is a any sort of differences are there between the election commissioners with regard to certain issue it has to be decided by them by majority and there is a no residuary power is there in lying in hands of the chief election commissioner that was a, a another important issue is settled by the supreme court so recently also some public spirited persons have filed a case in the supreme court by appointment of the new election commissioners to the election commission then the supreme court has stated yesterday that election process is started so if they we cannot interfere in this junction actually the case is so without adding the chief justice of india in his election committee it is a structurally the act provides the recently framed act provides that uh, for selection process the chief justice of india also be member but without adding him without consulting him the recently election commissioners were appointed that was present but supreme court uh, just i told you that yesterday itself has stated that it is not a time now to discuss the issue because the election process has been started so election commission playing very very important role in the upholding the democracy so in our country because we our pillar the parliamentary system of governance is a pillar where the election process is another pillar so the election commission should taking any biases to any political party or individuals should conduct the elections because it is a, a constitutional protective body and till date if we see the history of our country we are conducting elections in a such a fashion that all modern things have been incorporated into election process and in days to come many new methods may be also been added and we have to think of the adding the e voting system because already we have vb pad system is there but in addition to that online voting the election commission also think of it so that we can avoid much delay a uh, much time consumed and development stopped because in during the time of elections all these are be <coughs> be a part we are affected by development process is being affected and it is time to we have to think in that way of online voting because some countries in the western world has adopted this online voting and still there is a, a controversy is there we should go for the traditional voting ballot paper uh, uh, to vb pat so there is a some sort of controversy are there and supreme court also time and again also interfered in those matters so but we have changing technology we have to adapt the changes to our election process so thank you for patiently hearing my lecture thank you one and all